What's up guys? Um, just gonna make a quick video. A quick video before I head off to the gym. Um, a few things I wanna talk about. I got a DEXA scan, right, today. I finally got my DEXA scan after about, I think it's been nine weeks after my diet. Or 10, I'm not quite sure. Um, I can't remember. It could be 10 weeks after my diet, I'm not quite sure, but I'll put it in the description box in the way. Um, I got a DEXA scan, and the, the video before this one, if you haven't seen it yet, I mentioned I was guessing I was around 10% body fat. And my DEXA, scan, my DEXA scan came in, the results said 10 point, or was it 10.9% body fat, or 10.85, something like that. I'll show you the results um, after gym. So I'm going to do a push workout today. Um, so um, I'll show you my results, right, my DEXA scan results. And tomorrow I'm going to do a physique update, right? So my body fat, so I'll do a video about my DEXA scan results tonight, and then tomorrow I'll put that, I'll put that video with my posing update tomorrow. Does that make sense? So stay tuned for that. And um, I'm actually gonna try a pre-workout. Carbon, right, from Dr. Lane Norton. Can you see it? Um, I took this yesterday on my leg day, and mm, it, okay, first off, it's a non-stimulant pre-workout. It's got no caffeine in it, but um, so I'm trying to. It's good for me. I'm trying to get off caffeine, and I only use caffeine when I need it, when I feel drained or not much sleep, like today. I didn't get many hours sleep today. On average, I sleep around nine hours. Sleep is really important, guys, for recovery. All right. And building muscle and fat loss. I slept about five and a half hours today. I'm used to nine hours. And you might think, five and a half hours, that's, that's, or maybe six hours today. I can't remember. Yeah, about five and a half hours sleep I had today. And you guys might be thinking, I do that every night. But for me, I'm, my body is so used to and adapted to nine hours. So I'm pretty tired. So um, I'm gonna give this a go again today. I didn't really feel this yesterday on my back, on my uh, leg day. I don't know because I had, I got pissed off because I hurt my lower back. But um, yeah, I hurt my lower back when I was squatting. So again, I hurt my lower back again. I don't know why, my chest was up, my back, my neck was neutral, everything was perfect because I've practiced my squat from uh, all the time because I had a lower back injury about eight months ago, and that scared me. You know, I don't. Ever since that day, I, um, I, um, I'm really careful about my squat form now. Um, so and I kind of injured, it, I tweaked it a bit yesterday. So I'm not really. When not when I'm tired, I want caffeine. As you guys know, caffeine, it works. Okay, it wakes you up. Um, I haven't had it for. A couple of days now. I used to do it every single day for like six months straight because of my diet. But now I'm probably on average twice a week. That's a lot better than every single day. So um, I'm thinking of, so I didn't really feel this yesterday, as I said, I don't know because I in the shit movie because I hurt my back, but I felt okay. I don't, not quite, not, not quite sure about the pumps because I was training legs, but I'm training chest, shoulders, triceps today, so I might give this a go again and see how I go on it. But since I'm not, since I'm feeling a little bit tired, I'm gonna mix some caffeine with it. All right, so hold on one second. I got this, all right, is it blurry? You good? I got this. This is pretty much just caffeine, all right? It's got some stuff in it, but it's it's mainly just caffeine. That's really all what it is. All what it is. Look it up, it's, it cost me 10 bucks. I got it like cheap because um, they'll try and get rid of it. There's probably a reason why they wanna get rid of it, right? Because it's, not, it's just pure caffeine. One scoop, or well, half a scoop. Yeah, one scoop is 300 milligrams. So I'm gonna take one scoop with this. And Lay Norton, he's talked about this. He says you can add some caffeine with this because it doesn't have caffeine 
isn't it? So if you want caffeine, if you want some buzz, if you want a bit of a buzz, get a bit of a kick, add some caffeine to it. So that's what I'm going to do today because I'm feeling tired. If I had good sleep, I wasn't, if I wasn't really feeling tired, I would just use this and experiment with it. And um, tell you how it goes. It's cranberry grape flavor. So um, that's it guys. I'm going to do another video. I might put the next video on this. On this, on this video right now, I might edit it together, or I might do another video. But if I, it's not, if it's not on it, stay tuned for what. Watch out for the next video, okay? And I'll let you go. Let you know how it goes. So that's what I do right now. Just make, make, put this and this together. Caffeine is like more mental stuff. More sizzling. I switch the ingredients. Sizzling malate, six grams, perfect dosage. Creatine, three grams. You don't need creatine pre-workout. You can have it five grams a day. Doesn't matter what there um, to take it. Better betaine and two point five grams. L-carnitine, one gram. And the other stuff I don't really know what they are, but um, that's it, guys. I'll see you guys soon. Or watch out for the next video. Okay, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and uh, yep. Or I might, I might name this video part one. Not sure yet. But um, watch out, guys.